It's Hunter at Sunrise Acoustic, eclectic music for your Sunday morning, streaming live at hunteratsunrise.com, whrb.org, allradio.org, iTunes, Shoutcast, and Radio Time, or on your digital radio at 89.5 WHRB HD2 Alt Radio. You know we like to do acoustic sessions on this show, live ones especially, and today we have Ron Fetner on our program. Ron, welcome back to the show. Yeah, good morning, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Excellent. Bright and early this Sunday morning. Yeah, I know you were up late last night. Yeah. You are early this morning. I bet your wife was amazed at you getting up this early to be on the radio. You know, she got made me some pancakes. Oh, oh my God. Well, yeah. then you know you're, you're in for a good show. Yeah. What would you like to play for us first? Well, here's a little thing just to sort of rival us up this morning. Okay, here's Ron Fetner here on Hunter at Sunrise. <laughs> Say you're sitting on top of the world, storm clouds clear the coast, morning sun is about to shine, you've given up a ghost, but there's one thing, you know it's true, this old world will turn back on you, so sit down beside me, let me Someone to treat you good But you get tired the Same old dance in that same old neighborhood Girl, you don't have to look too far And I'll tell you what you do You better sit down beside me Let me play the blues We can go out late for some little Watch your movies repeat. It doesn't really matter as long as we're alone. I'll get you back to where you belong. So turn off the cell phone, put out the cat. We got nothing to lose. You better sit down beside me. Let me play with the blues. Yeah, I've had a big show coming up on uh, March 28th, next Saturday, at the Williamsburg Library Theater. Mm -hmm. um, it's called a Bucket of Songs concert. A Bucket of Songs. A Bucket of Song concert. And uh, this show was sort of developed, or these series of shows were developed from um, realizing that I had been doing this solo singer-songwriter thing for about 25 years. Mm -hmm. So I asked all my fans um, to email their top three Ron Fetner songs. Uh -huh. And I took the top 14, 16 songs and developed a concert out of those songs that they uh -huh. chose. Some of them were also songs that, um, you know, that, that were on the, the, the top of like on uh, uh, iTunes mm -hmm. um, and uh, that get digitally been sold and stuff like that. So I took some of those songs too. Now you mentioned you're going to have some guests. Can, yeah. can you tell us, or are uh, they a surprise? No, no, there's no, there's no surprise. Uh, um, my uh, the guys that I play with during the week with Blue House are going to be there. Uh, bassist Rich Ritofino and drummer Rick Chababi. Oh yeah. 
and um, and then my good friend Tom Dykin is going to come in to do a few songs. Okay. Um, the song the songs that we did on the EP that Tom and I did uh, um, were really popular with a lot of people, and I always got requests for those. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my good friend Jim Gordon from the group Blue Ribbon mm -hmm. will be there. And actually, his daughter is coming to sing uh, a song with me that um, I wrote, and it's got a 12-year-old girl part in it, and uh, she's going to do that. Oh, wow. And she just won Williamsburg's Got Talent. Oh, and really? Back in October, November. So There's a Williamsburg's Got Talent yeah. Yes, show? yes, there is a Williamsburg. Okay. And uh, Kathy Cornsby, Bruce Hornsby's wife, is, is affiliated with that, and I think it's a chari charitable. Nice. Yes, it is. Really nice. That's really. How long has that been going on? I, I think this might have been the third year or something. Really? Yeah. Interesting. You know, you surprised me once. Um, I was at a fundraiser, and you know, I've always just seen you in the singer-songwriter mode, playing the guitar yeah. and singing and whatever. You came out there with this band and wailed away <laughs> on the guitar. I was floored how great an electric guitarist you are. Well, thank you. Well, thanks. Well, yeah, that was my roots, you know, early blues and stuff. Um, I've been very fortunate that music has been my life for a very long time. So, well, in the early years, that's what it took to make money. Yeah, so, well, you were, you were incredible well, that day. And uh, if you ever have a chance to see this man on the electric guitar, you're in for a treat, I'll tell you. What else would you like to play for us, Well, I'm going to do the song that on iTunes was the most popular, and it surprised me that I found out that this was the song. Um, but I get a little bit of, or a little bit of airplay out in the Midwest, and I think this is the reason why. But anyhow, here's another springtime song. Here's Ron Fetner here on Hunter and Sunrise. I went fishing with my granddad on the banks of Little Fishing poles and the tackle box, a can of worms for bail. He said, Put on that old ball cap, it might just bring some luck. He hooked me on a wiggly worm, the sun was coming up. And he said, Life is just like fishing, there's no two. You might catch your limit, but on the next not hook a thing. Do your best, boy, every day. The world will treat you right. You see, life is just like fishing. That ball cap and that fishing pole propped him up against my knee. Then I woke to hear him laugh, saw that line disappear. He claimed it was this big bass that got away free and clear. He said, Life is just like fishing, there's no two days. See, life 
life is just like fishing. So let's talk about this little EP you have here. It's called it's six. Called six. Yeah, um, six is because of two th uh, two reasons. One, there's six songs on it, of and course. the other one is um, it's the sixth release that I've been involved with. Oh, okay. Um, but it's most of the songs are from originally from Defying Gravity, but they're either remixes and they're all remastered. Uh -huh. And then there's one from uh, Sunday Morning, which was Car Carolina Rain. Right. Um, and they all sort of blended together really nice and I thought that would might be a really nice thing just to stick out for a while while I'm working on new material. And no and no doubt this will be on sale at the Williamsburg Library. Uh no actually it will not. No. Because of the bad weather the uh the production was behind so I was able to get a few radio station copies. Oh I see. Um, first, but it won't be available probably until April sometime. So I have here in front of me a radio station copy. Right. Because I requested that I had a few shows coming up and I needed some copies, so they um, quickly sent out a couple covers and stuff for me so I could do that. Well, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So when will this be out? I, it, it should be right around the middle of April. I okay. Think. Yeah, it's only, it was just pushed back a couple of weeks or something. So. Cool. Ron Fetner in his new EP called Six. What else would you like to do for us? I'm going to do a thing from Six here, and uh, this is a little thing about life. Great. Here's Ron Fetner here on Hunter at Sunrise. <laughs>
man, you just put on such a really nice air for those songs. Thank you. It's just thank lots of fun. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for coming down here. Oh, yeah. Me. And again, uh, the show uh, is next week. It's uh, next Saturday. That's right. Bucket, bucket full of songs. Bucket of songs. Bucket, bucket of songs. Of songs. And so, uh, one other thing I forgot to mention, though. Okay. Every purchase ticket gets a free CD. Oh, really? Their, of, the whole, of the whole catalog. Oh, wow. Once you get to choose one out. So, so you get to choose one. That's right. Mm -hmm. So uh, they'll take their like the t ticket stub, and they can wait to the end of the, the show and, and figure out what songs they like the best, and then they can go pick the CD that came out. That's an awful nice thing to do. Well, you know, it's sort of payback some of the, you know, I have a lot of good fans and stuff, especially around Williamsburg, and, uh -huh. um, you know, sort of payback a little bit. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Thank well, you. I... I hope you have a good show. That is a very nice venue up there. In yes, Williamsburg it is. Library. Yeah, it's great. You can hear really good. And it's a I haven't been up there in a while, and I have to get back up there. Yeah. I actually recorded some uh, acoustic sessions up there on that stage. Mm -hmm. It's really quite a nice place yes, to, it is. to listen to a show. Yeah. Very intimate. Ron Fetner here on Hunter at Sunrise. Thanks again, Ron, for You're welcome. Yeah, Glad to be here. And that's going to do it for me. My name is Hunter Hughes. Thanks so much for listening. Next weekend, we're going to have Carl Wern on our show. Carl is going to help uh, kick off the Sea Level Singer-Songwriter Festival this year by opening up for Sarah Jarose along with Scott Slay. And we're going to be talking to him about that as well as his brand new album he's getting ready to release. So Carl Wern on our show next weekend. And you can check out this show starting at 11.30 this morning. You can listen to all three hours back again. Um, and anytime this week, it's on demand at HunterAtSunrise.com. And you can also check out our concert calendar, which I hope is up to date by now. We've actually been uh, uh, adding Harbor Fest to the uh, calendar this week, so I hope you'll check that out. Check out our playlists also, and our, our uh, acoustic sessions are podcasts that you can download to your computer or mobile device. I'm going to head on out of here, and I thought I'd play a song I've been meaning to play. This is from uh, Humming House, brand new song, and uh, we're going to end on it today. You guys have a good day. You've been listening to Hunter at Sunrise here on 89.5 WHRB HD2, all radio Norfolk, Virginia, and HunterAtSunrise.com.